What is the deal with some people who just like to do difficult things? It is such a crazy part of being human because personally, I'm one of those people that just loves a challenge. And I think there's a lot of people like that, that like to do hard things. And there's people that like harder things than me, for sure. It's, it's something kind of crazy about human beings that we um, thrive on that. And actually, if you look at people that are kind of like, don't like a challenge and just like things comfortable all the time, I'm not sure if they're even happy the way they are. <clears throat> it might be that all of us like that kind of a challenge. So I was going to share a little story today, just reflecting back on um, the coldest I've ever been in my entire life because I've done some cold things, jumped in a mountain lake, things like that. But uh, this one was, I, I don't know if it was a year, a couple years ago, I was running, did my morning run, five mile loop from the house. Once I'm out there, got a loop back. There's no like exit strategy other than knocking on a neighbor's door if I'm about to die. It was uh, with the wind chill. My phone said it was uh, five degrees Fahrenheit, which is 15 below celsius um <clears throat> and uh that's pretty cold there was wind and i was wearing the light very light track suit and some gloves my track suit had a hood but with the wind the hood would just blow off i didn't even wear a hat i didn't have anything covering my face and i uh normally it's like okay it feels cold when i leave the house get out the door feels cold start running warm up and that engine inside keeps me warm but it was probably about halfway through and it, it took me, well, just under an hour, I don't know, a little under an hour, but somewhere around the halfway mark when I started to realize, you know what? I'm not getting warmer here, I'm getting colder. And something's kind of clicked, like this isn't right, something's gone wrong here. <laughs> and because no matter how much I was running and getting my metabolism up, it was not uh, defeating the, uh, <clears throat> the power of nature that was coming after me and it, and I just kept getting colder and colder and colder and I could feel my temperature dropping and I thought well I'm at the farthest point right now halfway there's no choice got to just run back and as I got closer 45 minutes in something like that um, I really thought you know I I just need to run because I'm running back for my own life and safety uh, you know, of course, I could have gone to a neighbor's or something like if I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm about to die, I probably would have done that. But I decided to keep going and I was just so cold. It was just penetrating all through me. Uh, you know, the wind would just go right through my jacket. Every bit of me was cold. And <clears throat> I just kept trying to push harder and harder because normally that would just be like a jog. I like to just kind of do a light, easy run. Um, a lot of, on days like that, it was just meant to be an easy run, but it was turned out being like, I'm gonna run as fast as I possibly can uh, because I need to get home quick. And if I run faster, I'll be warmer, but it still could not defeat the, the penetrating cold. And when I got home, uh, I did get home. <laughs> I was a little, a little delirious, um, but just like, everything was numb and then as the blood comes back just this pain in the hands uh of as the blood returns and then i first i just tried to warm up in the house just kind of like still moving around i didn't even stop moving i was just like walking back and forth in the house like i was just like i can't sit still i need this metabolism i need to move so i'm like walking around shaking it out wanted to take a hot shower but i i let myself kind of come up to room temperature first <laughs> and then took a hot shower and the hot shower was like nothing it was like where's the heat i want to feel the heat and it's just cold still like i'm in the hot sh like i can tell it's a hot shower but i don't feel any of it um and got out of the hot shower still feeling cold and it took about 30 minutes with a hot shower in there until finally i was like kind of coming back to like okay normal again and um I, I would say those 30 minutes of being inside and trying to warm up were just as intense as being out in the cold because it was a, a freaky experience. And I think, you know, I think I pushed it too far. If I had the choice, I would never 
have chosen that. I don't think that was a good idea. Um, that was probably more in like a dangerous idea, but, uh, but it's cool to do those kinds of things. I don't know. There's something great about it also to be challenged like that. And, and it's like, that's the weird thing. Like I wouldn't choose to, but I kind of would choose to. And yeah, that's, that's a tough one right there, but I wouldn't do it again if I, if I had the choice. Ah, and then I remember the hottest day of my life. This isn't the hottest day of my life or the hottest experience, but a hot experience was actually on a meditation retreat in India. And um, even though it wasn't necessarily the hottest I've ever been, it was the most present I've ever been with heat because I was meditating. And I, I had my own little bedroom. Actually, I shared the room. Um, but I was lying in the bed in the middle of the day, like noontime heat, um, and I don't know what it, it was, it was well over a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and there was one dinky little fan. There's no air conditioning. It's India. And I'm just so in touch with my body. And I could just, I was just lying there and I could just feel the heat, like completely absorb my body. Like nothing I'd ever experienced before. Just like heat. Wow. This is heat. Just like feeling it all through my body. And that was, that was the most intense experience of heat I've ever had. Uh, that one, I, I wasn't close to dying, thankfully. Um, <laughs> so I'm also uh, listening to Christopher McDougall's um, Born to Run, which, you know, he's about ultra running and these people that go to extremes. And he's asking the question, why are people doing this? Because um, for most of the history of that sport, there's not much fame or money involved. It's just people that like to do insane things, which is always what draws people to it. And, you know, I've thought about it sometimes. Wouldn't it be fun to just run for 24 hours straight and see what happens to my mind and my body push to that kind of extreme? I, I don't know. Maybe I will do something like that at some point someday. Got to have time to do that. At any rate, <clears throat> what's your challenge? You push yourself. I bet you whatever you're pushing, you could go harder. You could get more out of it. So take this as I'm calling you out. This is your challenge. Go make it happen.